Welcome back to Championship Sunday. Hello and welcome. Reba hits a deadly low reverse, defended by Wu. Who's gonna swing with her right hand? Wow. A soft touch from Plett. That's a double. <laughs> oh my gosh, that may be the best rally we've seen. Oh, this is just sportsmanship. I can't look at him, I'm gonna this, try. It's you know, sensei to student relationship. Nice up from Rahul. And Pinkle sets him, and it's a good pull. Everson with the set. We've narrowed lefty on, on two. two. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our final match of the day. And of course, it is our grand finals of the premier bracket. Once again, Jonas Willinger, Ben Dantowitz here with you at the Richmond Challenger event here, kicking off the Spike Ball. Spikeball Tour Series 2022 events, our first stream of the year, and it has been a blast, Ben. We have got a fantastic Premier Grand Final. I think if you would have guessed the teams that would be in this Grand Final today, I got to say, I don't know if these four guys would be the ones you chose. Yeah, I uh, I said it earlier today. I'm not at liberty to be making these kinds of guesses <laughs> because it's way above my pay grade. If I could have guessed it, I would have won a lot of money probably because okay. these guys were getting some longer odds than other teams, but we left you guys right at the end of uh, Fanaki and Modell taking the semifinal. Oh, and it we good. jumped over, yeah, we jumped over to see who was going to win the matchup between Bondi Hornock and uh, Gross and Kandula. Kandula and Gross won 21-19, 19-21, and game three came down to the wire, 21-19 as well. Some really hard-fought games over there, and they're deservedly going to be in the final state after a really tough road to, the, to get there. And it has not been that, uh, you know, sometimes the games can, you know, work their way into very serve ball focused kind of uh, mentality where we're seeing just a lot of, you know, serve ends the point, one, two, three, point over. We have seen a lot of soft touches today. We have seen a lot of defensive touches and defensive plays. Just before we even get into this, I already know we're going to be seeing Max Modell, Gabe Finaki throwing themselves on the ground. Robbie K uh, Kandula, he is going to be diving all over the place. We saw it in their semifinal matchups. They were sacrificing their body for every single ball out there. And I know Ryan Gross, he's got those serves and he's got those defensive touches in store as well. This could be incredible. We are only about 30 seconds away from getting this one started. It is an exciting premier grand final to kick off our first yeah, game of the year. And to your point on serves being really strong and the service being ever more important. Something to look for in these extended rallies is going to be not that first touch, but that second, that recovery set. Right. Who can set their team up to put those really strong pits away at this level? These defenders are so strong, and if your set is off net, off center, it's going to be much easier to pick it up as a defender. So making sure that that second touch, that recovery set back to net, gives those angles for the put away is going to be really the key to success for these players uh, down the stretch in this series. Another thing I want to highlight, though, sure. that I was talking to Ravi Kondula about yesterday. Ravi Gabe and Max, all New Jersey natives, and Ryan Gross, uh, a Western New York native, all from the Northeast, East Coast. Robbie was saying the East was dead. Today it has been very much alive, and as someone who's myself from the Northeast, very much proud of the, the region showing out on the national stage today. Very exciting stuff. And I know these guys are, like Fanaki, and I know, you know, Kandula, Modell as well. I mean, they are... They, they play together all the time, right? They they were recently together, you know, just two weeks ago in Philly at a tournament. They were actually uh, just just north mm -hmm. of Philly in, in New Jersey. They were they were getting some reps in. Uh, these guys are are rearing a go. They're good friends, as are many of the guys here. Yes. And they are looking for a good competitive game. And I really have a feeling it is it is going to be exactly that. You talked about the importance of those second touches, and we're going to probably see that right away because up to serve first is Gabe Fanaki, the man bet. in the bright orange, neon, yellow, green, the big old Fanaki <laughs> in the back. It's the rainbow colored. Rainbow colored. He's ready to go, and he is swinging away. Robbie Kondula to receive. He will get the first one. A nice little backhand to kick things yeah. off. Really, a huge advantage is, obviously, if you're a really strong server, that's an advantage, but across from Gabe Fanaki is maybe his number one training partner right now in Ravi Kondula. So those serve receives, no problem at all for Ravi. Look for him and Gross to really challenge on the serve receive and apply pressure there too as Gross has some of the faster serves on the scene. Well, speaking of fast, that was quite a put away from Modell. He whipped out that left hand and he just ripped it nice and low away out of the reach of Ryan Gross, who was unable to get to that ball in time. So we're all tied up at one with Modell to serve. I'll step out left, rip one away, nice and low. Kondula to set. Gross with a nice backhand pull. It was a little high, so Modell gave chase, but he couldn't get there. 
Yeah, didn't see too many backhands from Gross in his semifinal match. At the end of that game, three we were able to catch, but he hops right onto the center court, and he knows the rule. You have to hit backhand putaways, Jonah. That's the hit of the day. That's I, I don't know if we've got a backhand sponsor yet uh, for the Spikeball Tour Series, but if we did, they'd be getting a lot of shout-outs from me. Well, I mean, speaking of sponsor, we've got to mention a couple of our amazing sponsors, and we'll oh, start yeah. with, of course, uh, VII Apparel, our, the official uh, jersey sponsor of Spikeball and Spikeball Tour Series. You see all these custom jerseys out here uh, at these events. I imagine the one that Gabe Finaki is wearing right now is thanks to VII Apparel. They make some crazy cool jerseys. They've got a great design staff over there that works with you very well, really good customer service. They can make you a design that you're looking for. I know when I put mine together for my team, we got you know three hours of free design services when you're making a new custom order. It was really, really good design. Love how they turned out. Yeah, we're, we're rocking those VII polos in the booth, and Gross is hitting some of the dirtiest serves I've ever seen. Um, oh, my Lord. Oh, my gosh. Um, just going to queue up this replay, but please shield your eyes. This is not uh, safe for work. Oh, my goodness. That ball moves so much. Does lefty just cut serve, ripping that one across, and the lefty man himself, Max Modell, had no shot at getting that ball. It was far away from him. Ryan Gross will swing away and go again. That one, a righty, not a lefty, but it will clip the rim. Yeah, just off. And again, Ryan Gross, a right-handed dominant player. The fact he's able to get that much pace and movement and that height on the lefty serve is almost unmatched in the division, in the world, by other players. Except for Modell, who is left-handed, puts it quite wide. Oh, he's up there. He gets the height to get the body up Ridiculous and then puts it away. Touch. Finaki was ready for that. Kandula, he loves to hit those nice and high and get those pulls going. Finaki, training partner, as you said, he was ready for that. He put his body up in that yeah. sky, and he got the job done. Yeah, he knows Ravi's tendencies. He, Ravi of Old Bridge, New Jersey, loves pulling the ball. They call it the OB pull. It's what they are known for, and Finaki... Uh, well, he's known for it, so he knows what to respond with, covering it on defense and rotating well. Gross with a good push there through the gap. Modell unable to shift into the, the spot. And Ooh. Condulo has, has been going with the Fuengo. He had a lot of strong Fuengos to challenge his opponents in the semifinals like that hadn't gone with too many thus far in the finals and it probably needs to just tune it in to apply pressure well condula he loves that fuengo serve we're likely going to see it come out for him later but we'll have to wait because right now he is receiving he'll go wow. with a nice little backhand diving flick across the net Fantastic sending effort. that ball all the way to the commentary booth over here looking good while doing it too yeah definitely thanks to that i think lululemon top he's wearing from spikeball a little Spike ball Lululemon collab he's wearing. Oh, Looks backhand so flick from Modell. Ryan Gross gives chase, gets the foot up, but that one is sent deep <laughs> into the crowd. Robbie Kandula has no chance, so there is not going to be any hinder call or anything like that. That ball is well far gone. That ball is a goner. It's six apiece here for game one. Modell looking wide. And misses just short on the rim. Modell now whips out the right, but that one is going to miss long. He had the left fake, but Ryan Gross didn't bite a ton. Would have been there either way. All of these players, crazy good on the serve-receive, as we've talked about, Ben, as you talked about earlier. Serve-receive can be made easier when it pops up and hits the rim, but Robbie's ready for Gabe's hit. Goes with the tweener. Finaki, though, <laughs> he's got the above-the-head set. No hit violation called on Max Modell, unfortunately. Oh. Stepping in that three-foot circle around that net. An unfortunate error there from Modell. A ridiculous touch or two. <laughs> but can't get that last touch in. You see Ravi oh, just waves tough. his hand at... Yeah, waves, oh. his, waves his hand at Fanaki's backhand. Crazy touch. Uh, you see Max Modell, he's struggling with the footwork to yeah. get fully around that net. Yeah, managing not only the, the elements of the win, but then also trying to find the set in the air and make the play, manage the defense and get it by them. Uh, too tall a task for that point, but a great rally all around. Well, Condula with a double fault. Gives the ball to Fanaki, who now swings away with his right. Ooh. Ryan Gross, a leaping attempt, but he can't get there. Fanaki, the characteristic, come on, with the ace.
Yeah, and you got a nice view of Funaki's. He doesn't have a number on his jersey. He just has the word, come on, because <laughs> it's one of his favorite cheers. Gets a soft oh. touch. Ooh. Oh, Modell had a shot. A tough one. Dry to just put it on. Didn't try to swing away at it. Just try to give it a nice, gentle hit. Find the net, but he could not quite come up with anything. So the ball will now find itself in the hands of Ryan Gross, who swings away hard with his right, and Modell oh, has no chance goodness. of getting that. A really good barometer for how, so, how sick some of these serves have been is watching just the reaction of the crowd and even the observers putting their hands over their faces oh, as the cut. ball zips by. So much movement, so much pace. Not really much of a chance for a high-level player to receive that. Ryan Gross again. This time it's just speed and low. Modell with a diving effort for the set. Fanaki cannot get there. His partner diving in the way. You don't want to risk trying to dive over him to yeah. get that back. Modell a little slow to get up. Not sure if he's just... Uh, feeling down about the point, or he might have fallen on something. Goodness. That was inches away from glory. I mean, that <laughs> ball was so close to spinning away from Modell, but it just clipped, just clipped the rim before it entered the net. He'll go again. A little bit off balance, but he'll step out right. Goes for the drop. Modell receives, but just ball not enough up in the air for Fanaki to make anything happen. And another strong couple of aces. We've seen Gross, he can go really far left, really far right, and really far in front of you because he hits it so fast you have to back up. Nice reverse. Odell now, good set. Backhand flick from Funaki. That lands. Defense not yeah, there. Great control. Able to stop the bleeding now. Down only a few, but at that critical juncture of getting to around 15 points right where you start to sense the game is nearing its end. Lefty from Modell, up and over Condula. Second serve. That one received well by Ravi. He'll go with the backhand pull across the body. Panaki could not get there. Ryan Gross, Ravi Kandula, they've got quite a lead right now. Four points in holding. Kandula to serve. Whips out the Fuango. Ton of cut spin on that. Fanaki has to make a move. Modell seemed like he gave up out of that point, but though he looked yeah. up, the ball was there, and he puts it away. Yeah, not sure if Modell had made a call about something, if there was a fault of some kind, maybe maybe a foot drag uh, actively called by the observer. Looks like he did because Robert <laughs> served again. <laughs> this time it is a righty. Oh, just he swings away, clean. and he just takes him down. Wow. Modell regretting that call or something because he had the point, and all of a sudden snatched away. And Fanaki with a hitting error, looks like, on the inside of the rim there. This Max Modell and Gabe Fanaki look to be almost just given up on game one here, looking to win the series in three the hard way. And this is the time you take a timeout. This is the time you try to stop that bleeding and see if you can go on a run of your own. You've seen it possible. Gross and Condula are doing it just fine. Oh, oh that's goodness. ruthless from Condula. A ridiculously low reverse cut. My goodness. You just get to see a better angle on this to appreciate how much Max has to move. Oh, he just gets pranked out of his mind. Yeah, and Modell is more or less airborne as the ball is getting hit. And there it is! Wango. This one clean. And at this point, not really a need to call a timeout. Just trying to get through some oh, reps and get angle. some touches. Look how far he gets his body over the other side, puts spin on it as well, and even with two big steps, Fanaki cannot get there. Yeah. Still... Condula to serve, rips away, can't skill. get it. Incredible skill here from Condula here. Game one, pulling out all the stops, the reverse cut, the Fuengo, a, a skill that very few high-level players are still practicing. Ooh, Robbie with a bit of a bad set, but Gross survives it. Modell now, great wow. flick with the left hand. Despite getting a hand on it there, Condula cannot make it happen. And as easy as he makes it look, that off-net hit by Ryan Gross here is spectacular. He's about six and a half feet off when he's hitting the ball, and it's coming off with pace. Modell has to struggle just to get that back to net. So, so talented. Fanaki with a chance. Tough receive from Gross, but well recovered by Kondula, and he puts that over and above Fanaki's head. Good hit from Ryan Gross. They are not going to let this lead slip away. Yeah, this, this is a 18 to 10 lead now. Relatively safe. Even as far as the servers like Gabe Fanaki goes. 
Ryan Gross swings away. Fanaki gets a hand on it. Recovery from Modell is there. Fanaki goes up and over. Do or die now for Modell, who steps out to serve, takes his left, a little high, not played. Modell again. Lefty just puts it on, goes for the drop. Gross recovers it. Kandula puts it up. This is gettable. Fanaki gets a hand on it. Modell with the set. Fanaki with the pull, and it will get the job done. Yeah. Kandula and Gross not thrilled about their offense. They're not even worrying about playing defense. They're just shrugging it off and trying to figure out what's going wrong in offense so that we don't give up those opportunities next game. I mean, at this point, you are just thinking about that next game. Both teams likely already shifting to what they can do to prepare for that next one. Yeah. We watch Ryan Gross chip this one up and away. Ben Dantowitz, I mean, if you are if you are Modell and Finaki right now, between games, what is it that you're trying to work on? What are you talking about? What are Ryan Gross and Kondula doing that's getting the better of them? Yeah, I, I might have, you know, put the cart before the horse in the pregame talking about how recovery sets are going to be critical on these rallies and extended plays, these broken plays, but they've been really humbled on their serve receive. They need to get some stronger first touches into play. The rest of their offense is looking really good when they get those clean first touches, but for both Gross and Condula, they've been just humbled on some reverse cuts and lefties and fuangos uh, by the winning pair. So if they can get this together, they'll have a much better shot at answering a game two. Well, game one still has some signs of life in it for Fanakia Modell. At least they are still swinging away as hard as ever. Keeping those serves warm for game two, I suppose you could say. That one's good, though, from Fanaki. Kandula gets a hand on it, and he will do what he does best. He will go for the pull, and he will put it up and over. It's Robbie's specialty yet again. Reverse there from Ryan. Modell with the left. And he sends that ball over to us in the booth yet again. But we are at game point here for Ravi Kandula, Ryan Gross. They are sitting pretty 20 to 14. Little instep. Ravi with the set, Ryan with the push. <laughs> Modell cannot get there, and that does it for game one of this premier yeah. final. Mostly a formality there. Kandula just making sure he dodges the push hit there from Gross. We're going to get. A little bit of a stoppage in play and just digest a really dominant performance coming off of a very tight semifinals between Kandula Gross and uh, Bondi and Hornock, uh, also known as Team Cruise Control for the season. Uh, some really hard fought battles. They come out of that. They're, they're maybe adrenaline still high. They didn't have to take as much of a break as Monaki and Modell. Mm -hmm.